is happening guys it is Daniel 1989 welcome back to the hurry for United Korea this is episode 73 today's episode is a big one guys we have the Carabaro Cup final the EFL Cup final against Chelsea as you guys know in the last episode we simulated against Fulham we won the first game but lost the second game but still went through on aggregate as you can see Chelsea won both of their games 2-0 to go through uh, with 4-0 on aggregate we went through 4-2 we have the Carabao Cup final in today's episode. Fingers crossed we will beat Chelsea and lift the cup once again as we did last season. But before we get there, we have to play West Bromwich Albion away. And we also have to play Wolves at home. I was going to simulate one of the games for you. But as you can see, because it's Liverpool away next, it wouldn't make any sense to simulate that. So just the three played games in today's episode. West Bromwich Albion away, Wolves at home, and then the Carabao Cup final. That's how we'll do today's episode. Let's go away to West Bromwich Albion and see if we can keep our points ticking over to stay um, within the top three of the top of the table, shall we? Here we are then, guys, in the first played game of the episode. We are at the Hawthorns. We are away at West Bromwich Albion. Really hoping that we can get three points here. We definitely have the stronger side of the two. Um, as far as I can remember, I think they're in the bottom half of the table. West Bromwich Albion, and if you did see in the transfer window, they did actually lose um, Edouard, who we were interested in signing off them. I think he went to Stuttgart, if I remember rightly. And that is a major blow to them, because every time we've played them, he has been the most dangerous player on the pitch. So, in our respect, I'm glad he's gone. But in another respect, I did kind of want to bring him in to replace Aubameyang when he retires at the end of the season. So there's pros and cons of today's game, but I'm really hoping we can get the win. So as you can see, uh, Sanchez in goal for West Bromwich Albion. Don't recognise any of their back line or midfield. And don't recognise any of the attacking players either. Not sure about any of the players, but we definitely have, as Premier League players go, the far superior side. So I'm hoping we can show our dominance in today's game, even with the rotated side, as you'll see with some of the players in the lineup now that we have rotated, but we've still got a strong side. So as we line up, we've got McNeil in goal today. I've gone Paslak, Miranda, Amadou, Mings and Thomas in defence today. I've gone O'Reilly and Patrick Roberts in midfield. I've also gone Fernandez, Aubameyang and Locke up top. A rotated side, but it still should be strong enough to get three points here. Let's get straight into the football. There's Tyron Mings flicking that towards Fernandez, and Fernandez is caught out there, but... Paslak keeps it going with a decent challenge. Can he win the second one? He's committed a foul, but play will carry on. He was given advantage there, West Brom. And he's sprinting now back to where Paslak's position should have been in that right-back position. But Miranda's pulled over to make sure nothing happens down that side. He put that straight in towards Fernandez. We'll certainly take that. Here's O'Reilly. And can I try and get Aubameyang in over the top here? It's a nice ball by O'Reilly. If Aubameyang can get in, it does drop nicely for him at the edge of the box. Lay this off for Patrick Roberts going for the effort. It's dropped to lock at the edge of the box and he spooned it straight into the goalkeeper's gloves. It's Thomas, nice turn to get away from the attack of the lock. Rim the corner again towards Thomas. We could be on a nice little counter-attack here if Patrick Roberts will make the run straight through the middle, which he certainly will. I'm going to try and play it across the box and it should be a simple finish for Fernandez. It is. They attacked us the West Brom and we managed to run up the pitch with Thomas down the side getting away with a decent tackle. We've gone up the other end and we've scored a fairly simple goal to get us 1-0 ahead with Fernandez. As you'll see we just broke up the other side, put the ball straight through the middle of Bamiyang towards Patrick Roberts straight across the box and Fernandez gets a tap in to make it 1-0 Hurryford United. And that down in midfield uh, O'Reilly with a decent chest on towards Paslak out wide. Use O'Reilly again who's free in midfield, there's a lot of space in forward positions here, Aubameyang has got completely free here and should make it two and he certainly does West Brom absolutely falling to pieces there, there was so much room at the back and even at 37 years old Aubameyang is not going to miss a one on one opportunity with the goalkeeper, look at the space here for Aubameyang just completely open takes a touch and with his left foot that is a simple finish 2-0 in front I'm sprinting down this far side here and it is approaching half time we just need to be careful we don't concede here before half time let them get the tails up one minute added on 
until the end of the first half and they're still looking to try and get in on goal here we have got plenty of men back and should be able to defend it before half time Thomas trying to get the tackle in here he's got around the other side of Thomas and he's got the cross in but good block by Thomas they will get chance to bring the corner in before half time they've not offered much in this first half West Brom but they have themselves a corner here before half time should be able to deal with this with Amadou headed away and there is the half time whistle into the second half we go then guys and a fairly standard first half as far as we're concerned we created some good chances we had the possession of the ball and I'm quite happy with how we are playing in the first half good couple of finishes and there seems to be a lot of room at the back as far as West Brom are concerned should be a fairly standard second half so let's see how it pans out West Brom trying to come forward here down the flanks and Thomas deals with that well, trying to get it in towards midfield and it's only just got there towards Amadou. He's under pressure and he does get tackled out of it here. Miranda back in a defensive position with Tyra Mings. We should be able to get rid of this but started the second half a lot brighter here and trying to get in but Thomas deals with it, gives that towards Patrick Roberts. Another good tackle in midfield, just no time in midfield all of a sudden. We had plenty of time in the first half to the second half, no time and almost an equaliser. Was it off the post or was it saved by McNeil? Let's have a quick look. I don't think he got his hands there. McNeil straight off the post and out for a goal kick. And pressure will certainly continue here as they still have possession coming towards the 82nd minute now. Not long left in this second half and Tyra Mings again gets the ball away. Can we get away now to draw a third goal here and finish off the game I can see Fernandez on the back side coming in at the back post it's just a deep cross by Abamyang. I'm going to try and drop it in towards the box here towards Patrick Roberts again towards Abamyang. back towards Locke just holding possession here is O'Reilly trying to get Fernandez in and in towards Abamyang. he turns well Abamyang. he's going to go for goal and a good save by the goalkeeper very good save there at the end by the goalkeeper there's only two minutes added on now guys plus stoppage time I might as well just play it out as it's been quite an entertaining second half here Thomas went up for the header there's Locke see if I can get the space to shoot here and it's Amadou that gets the shot away and an absolute stunning finish from Amadou I had no idea that was going to go in the back of the net I was thinking that was going to float over Amadou has just scored an absolute delicious goal at the end of the game I thought Locke was going to shoot and Amadou just says, no worries Locke, I'll have a go for you. Look at that for a finish. Right foot and just curls it. Goalkeeper can't get anywhere near it. Over the top, we do get a third before the end of the game. And it's Amadou. Bit of a surprise that there. I thought uh, Locke was going to finish that off. Or at least have an attempt on goal. Amadou comes up with a stunning finish. And here he is again, pinching the ball before the end. If he can provide assist here, we might be able to get a fourth here with Patrick Roberts at the end. Patrick Roberts has scored a four. What has happened at the end of this game? No idea what has just happened at the end of the game. Amadou has just come alive, scored a goal. He wins possession straight after kickoff, puts Patrick Roberts over the top. We've scored a four. Right on, you do, Amadou. Not a problem at all, mate. There's the final whistle, guys. What an end to the game. 4-0 win away at the Hawthorns. Back at the menu then, guys, and how about that finish from Amadou? I have no idea what happened at the end of the game, though. We dominated the first half, and then the second half, West Brom tried to come back at us a little bit. And then when it got down to, like, the 85th minute, I'm thinking, a little bit of pressure. Amadou scores an absolute sublime finish from the edge of the box, just, just placed it over the top of the keeper. And then straight away from the kickoff, it gets possession... He puts the ball over the top for uh, Patrick Roberts and Patrick Roberts makes it 4-0. Shocked by the end of that game. Anyway, there's another three points to keep us in second place with 53 points now. We're still drawing with Liverpool. Chelsea closely following behind and in the next game we do have Wolves who are chasing us in fourth position. So, as you can see in the next game, Wolves at home. The home advantage can we try and get the win? I am certainly going to go for the win and we should have our strongest team out as we rested quite a few of our players. So 
I'll see you at the Edgar Street Stadium. Guys, in the second played game of the episode, we have Wolves at home. We're at the Edgar Street Stadium, home crowd behind us. We're coming off a 4-0 win in the last game against West Brom. Our tails are up. We should bring that momentum into this game. But as we saw at the menu, Wolves are chasing us in, obviously, I would say in the title race. But obviously, at this point, we're not sure what's going to happen at the top of the table but either way they're chasing us in the table so it's going to be a controversial game we need to be at our best and make sure that we uh, get on top here as you can see one of their players is in the top five for goals in the league so we're certainly going to have to keep an eye on him today but we'll wait for the lineups to come up guys and then we'll get straight into the football Here we are then guys, our lineup today, Josh Griffiths in goal, we've got Tommy Doyle, Malang Sarr, Maitland-Niles, Tyron Mings, Kalasinac in the defensive positions, Conor Gallagher, Tyler Wall in midfield together, Harry Wilson, Kirk Wilson and Dembele. Our strongest starting 11 for this season is out today, let's have a quick look at who Wolves have got today. Have they still got, they've got Johnny, still one of their old players from... Wolves originally for Fana, who was really good in midfield last time, the top goal scorer in midfield as well. Pedro Neto and um, Adama Traore in the attacking wing positions. They are going to be no slouch, no pushover. We need to start off well and try and get an early goal. There's Adama Traore coming forward here, decent ball, and they've got a couple of runners in behind here. Um, that's a decent ball through. They may have an early chance here, but Kalasinac gets over with a brilliant tackle to stop the cross coming in talk about getting back and making a good challenge that was it right there they're going to take the short corner here and Tyler Wall is there to try and do something about it header comes in and they've got an early goal at the front post I didn't think anything was going to come of that and as soon as Tyler Wall went to get in to get the early tackle as you'll see he just didn't get there and he just chips the ball up there at the front post I think it was Pedro Neto just chipped it up and the taller man gets over the top. Josh Griffiths doesn't react quick enough. We find ourselves 1-0 down early in this game. Again, Wolves coming forward down this far side this time. And Kalasinac trying to get another attack. But another decent chip ball over the top. And ricocheted off the post. It's been all Wolves in this first 25-26 minutes or so. They've scored once and now they've hit the post. We need to wake up and get a grip on this game. There's Tyler Wall in midfield using... Maitland-Niles over towards Kalasinac, just going to try and string a few passes together and get a bit of movement in midfield, we've not been brilliant at the start of this game, we've already conceded, we just need to try and get a bit of movement, here's Harry Wilson in towards Tyler Wall, this is better football, in towards Conor Gallagher if I can find Kirk Wilson and Conor Gallagher has given the ball away, we've lost possession, Wolves will pick it back up here and Conor Gallagher tried to get in and steal it and they still managed to keep possession they've been good at the start of this game again Wolves as they were last season when we faced them kept hold of the ball well and very direct with the ball and showing exactly the same in this game but Tommy Doyle gets a good interception in there get this round the corner to Conor Gallagher and Kirk Wilson might make me a decent run here he certainly has we've got Kirk Wilson inside can he make it 1-1 he certainly can't because the goalkeeper came up with a fantastic save I would have put my house on Kirk Wilson scoring there he tried to hit it low and hard past the goalkeeper and that is a splendid save see if we can whip this ball in on the corner here and get a chance with Malang Sar. but again the goalkeeper comes out and claims it Here's Tommy Doyle onto Maitland Niles. Here's Dembele trying to chip that over the top towards Kalasinac. And if he can try and get a cross in here just before half time, but that's a very solid tackle. Two minutes added on here, and the half time whistle surely can't be far away. 1 0 down in this game. We've tried to come back a little bit, and we just need to try and see it out till half time, regroup, and then come back at them. There's the half time whistle. We will go into the half, 1-0 down. Into the second half we go then, guys. Um, we go 1-0 down early to 
to be fair, a sloppy goal to give away at the front post. Defenders should have done better and goalkeeper should have done better, but we did concede early and Wolves pretty much kept the ball for the majority of the first half. And we did look a little bit slow, a little bit sloppy to get started. And then Kirk Wilson managed to get through and the goalkeeper made an outstanding save to stop us getting an equaliser. So hopefully in this second half we might be able to come up with a chance for an equaliser. But Harry Wilson has made me a decent run here through the middle. And Wolves pick up possession again. And play will continue guys. Wolves attacking us down that far side once again here. And he's got away through his pace. Tommy Doyle trying to hold up the situation in the middle towards their number nine and Pedro Neto with a brilliant turn looking to get the ball into the middle it ricochets off Malang Sar Shin and in towards Griffiths let's see if we can counter attack here and Kirk Wilson has made me another one of his brilliant runs I'll have to use Conor Gallagher see if I can make something now I'll put this in towards Tyler Wall again Conor Gallagher back to Tyler Wall try and get that through to Kirk Wilson go for the chip on the other side with the goalkeeper he does get a clip on it and stops it going in the back of the net. Kirk Wilson with two good chances so far. And Tommy Doyle with a brilliant tackle there to win possession. We might be able to get forward here. And Tommy Doyle's continued his run if he can get in. And he brings it down. Tommy Doyle with an absolute stonking finish. Not only did Tommy Doyle just make an absolute exceptional tackle at the back to get us forward, he makes a brilliant forward run. We ping him in over the top. He brings it down. You can see him at the top of your screen there making the run. Tyler Wall with a pitch perfect pass. And Tommy Doyle, the right back, gets forward and puts us level in this game against Wolves. Tremendous finish from Tommy Doyle. Just making two changes here, guys. Harry Wilson and Maitland Niles off. Fernandez and Amadou coming on. Just a bit of Wolves bursting forward here, guys. 80 minutes gone now, and they are bursting forward. Tommy Doyle trying to get a tackle in. He can't get a tackle in. Malangsa to try and get rid of it. It's only going to fall as far as Tyler Wall, but we have got rid of it for now. Here's Dembele around the corner to Tyler Wall. Let's see if we can get something in midfield, but Tyler Wall has lost out on possession. And Wolves will come forward again here. Kolasinac caught out of possession. Here's Pedro Neto round the corner towards Johnny. And Wolves are looking ever more dangerous here at the end of the game. Remings with a brilliant tackle there to stop that progressing into something. But again, they do pick up possession here. Johnny round the corner again. Wolves bursting forward. And I'm just trying to do anything I can to keep them out. Pedro Neto round the corner into the middle. Tommy Doyle is there. And it's hit Tommy Doyle's arm and it's gone for a penalty in the 88th minute. Wolves have got themselves a penalty. Tommy Doyle, who's been brilliant in the game, he got the equaliser. He's had a fantastic all-round game. It's hit his arm in the 88th minute and they've got themselves a penalty. I think he's going to go left. He doesn't and he misses it. Whew. Wipe that sweat off your forehead. Neto has missed the penalty. And we will get what looks like a draw here. I'm just going to try and get it forward. Not with a pass like that, I won't. We can't give it away at the end here after they've missed the penalty. That is a great tackle from Kalasinac. Here is Kirk Wilson. Two minutes added on. Can we try and get a chance to score before the end? Not with a pass like that into Fernandez. we won't. There's the two minutes gone. It could have been worse, we could have lost, but it's finished 1-1. Press conference after the game then, guys, and it ends 1-1. Wolves get the early goal to get in front. We get the equaliser in the second half, and just before the end there, Pedro Neto misses a penalty. So, one hell of a game. Was that a game you could have lost today? Absolutely. Um, we could have lost that. We're pleased to have the draw now because obviously he missed the penalty, so we certainly are pleased. That should have been a game that we really should have lost, really. Pedro Neto should not be missing a penalty in the 88th minute, but it's give us the draw. We'll certainly take it. Let's just have a look. What's this? Uh, can you still defeat them? Um, I'll just say we need to stick together. We will do that, promise. We'll certainly stick together as a team. We need to keep getting those points on the board. There wasn't much between the teams today. Uh, did you do... Um, Probably could have finished more of our chances, but disappointed not to keep clean sheet, because if we'd have kept a clean sheet, we'd have won the game, but 
never mind. We conceded first. Bye. We got back in it through a brilliant goal through Tommy Doyle, I have to say. That pass from Tyler Wall was absolute pitch perfect. And thankfully, they miss a penalty, which saves us a point. So, not too bad to get a point the in the Premier League but moving on from the Premier League as you can see on your screen we have Chelsea in the Carabao Cup final for the last played game of the episode guys I'll simulate forward and I will see you in the final here we have then guys the last played game of the episode it is the Carabao Cup final we are at Wembley and we are against Chelsea this is our cup right Last season we won this cup. We're in the final again this season. We can't let Chelsea just come and steal our cup off us. We need to win this cup. As you can see, we've probably had the more easier run than what Chelsea have had. Obviously, they've had to beat Tottenham. They've had to beat Everton. We only got Fulham and you know lower down teams on the way through. So we've had the easier run to the final. But we've got to give Chelsea a really good run in the game to make sure that we get the win. We certainly have the potential to win this game but as you can see as we line up <clears throat> Josh, Gris Josh Griffiths in goal Tommy Doyle, Maleng Sarr, Maitland-Niles, Mings and Kolesinac defensive positions O'Reilly and Conor Gallagher in uh, centre defensive mid together and Dembele, Kirk Wilson and Harry Wilson in the attacking positions <clears throat> I'm really hoping that we're going to have enough to beat Chelsea here but as you can see Ross Barkley in the lineup though we've not seen Ross Barkley in the lineup since we've played uh, Chelsea before, but here is their lineup. They've got Mendy on the field, they've got Reese James on the field, um, who else have they got? Ben Chilwell on the field, Kai Havertz on the field, Ross Barkley wearing the captain's armband today, um, Mason Mount, they've got Lukaku on and Pulisic, so certainly a very strong lineup from Chelsea, and we are going to have to be at our best to try and lift this trophy. Wish us luck, guys. Yes, Reese James busting down the far side here on towards Mason Mount. Lukaku, decent ball in towards Reese James has continued his run. Kolasinac trying to stand him up on this far side here. I'm going to call Dembele over, but he's come inside towards Kai Havertz, I think that was. And Tyron Mings tried to get that out there, and I don't believe it. The ball has come straight in the middle, and we've conceded inside seven minutes. I'm saying we need to give Chelsea everything and Tyra Mings just didn't clear it, I just I was tapping clear and Rhys James has pinched the ball, put the ball straight across, Pulisic takes a good first touch which sits it up for him, Josh Griffiths comes across and Pulisic just goes across the other side of goal and gives Chelsea an early lead in the cup final Got forward and that's well won by Lukaku, Ross Barkley picks up the ball in towards Kai Havertz and should be able to deal with this there, Kolasinac, Tyron Mings down towards Matt O'Reilly, here's Maitland-Niles, going to look for Tommy Doyle on this far side here, Tommy Doyle, great first touch here, might be able to get Harry Wilson away if he'll make me a, a run, but he's gone on the inside instead of the outside, here's Connie Gallagher, Kirk Wilson in towards O'Reilly, try and ping this over the top for Kirk Wilson, it's headed away by Ross Barkley, and we've lost possession here, but Connie Gallagher picks it back up, in towards O'Reilly, round the corner towards Dembele, it's a really good cross, if I can get Kirk Wilson on the end of it, so close to creating an equaliser, here's O'Reilly with a decent effort, and what a save that is by Mendy very, very good save I thought O'Reilly was just going to dip that in the top corner and it was going in, and it needed stopping, and what a good stop it was let's try and get this ball in the middle here towards, uh, it's actually towards Harry Wilson there, try and get it back out towards Maitland-Niles, cross this back in, Conor Gallagher goes up, Mendy hits it, might be an open goal here, but decent save. Chilwell down the line towards Pulisic, back towards Chilwell, into Ross Barkley, Chilwell has stayed forward here, into Lukaku, around the corner towards Pulisic, really good shot, snappy passing football, and Tommy Doyle just manages to shut that down there before it becomes a problem, O'Reilly to win the header into Kirk Wilson, and Dembele has continued his run here, if I can get him in over the top here, Dembele brings that down, goes at an effort, and again Mendy makes a brilliant stop. Conor Gallagher gets that ball back around the corner in towards Kirk Wilson again, and it's only cleared away, but we have picked up possession again here. Here's Matt O'Reilly looking for Kirk Wilson around the corner, and Kirk Wilson is tackled out of it. We are trying our hardest to get equal in this game, and Chelsea 
are making it really difficult. Tyron Mings is just not quick enough to get to that ball, but thankfully we do manage to get it away. Dembele again round the corner towards Matt O'Reilly. Kirk Wilson is onside here, and if he can bring it down, he might have a chance to equalise, but again, Mendy is in the way of it. What do I have to do to beat this goalkeeper? Kirk Wilson with one, two, three good chances now, and Mendy with one, two, three good saves in towards... Conor Gallagher up for the header and it's fallen loose. We should be able to win this with Maitland Niles. Here's Tyron Mings over towards Harry Wilson. Round the corner towards Dembele. Can Dembele get it in the box? He can't. He's tackled and that will be another corner. Our pressure will continue but we haven't found an equaliser just yet. Let's try and whip this in towards Harry Wilson to go up for the header. And again it's cleared away. One minute until half time here guys, I'll try and get it to Dembele, see if I can get this ball around the corner, Chilwell to clear and there's not going to be long until half time, Chelsea are going to take a lead into half time into the second half we go then guys and they get an early goal which was, you have to say sloppy defending really, we give away just a silly early goal and then we've tried to come back at Chelsea and we've had a couple of good chances. The only reason we haven't equalised is because Mendy has been in the way every single time. We need to find a way to beat Mendy and get a goal in this game. Again, Chelsea come forward here looking for the ball over the top. Kolasinac brings that down. Try and send this out wide towards Harry Wilson here and bring this down for Conor Gallagher. I'm looking for Dembele out wide and towards... O'Reilly, O'Reilly with a bit of decent footwork there but he's caught out by the Chelsea man and they will bring it forward with Kai Havertz, that's a decent ball over the top for Mason Mount and Mings is always going to struggle to get back here for pace, trying to get the block in there to stop the cross coming in Mason Mount with some decent footwork has got round the corner, Malang Sart up against his old team, does head the ball away, down towards Harry Wilson and Kirk Wilson tried to bring it down but again Chelsea bring the ball straight back at us here with Ross Barkley through the middle here Barkley and I'm just trying to get a block in any which way I can round the corner by Mason Mount Josh Griffiths comes up with a brilliant save to stop us conceding a second in this game we've tried our hardest to get back in this game and it feels like Chelsea are starting to take back over Pulisic I'm just waiting for him to do his little fancy footwork here see if I can take the ball off him ball comes into the box Harry Wilson to try and clear he certainly clears that well and again Kai Havertz with a brilliant bit of skill there goes for the long ranger into Josh Griffiths' gloves Chelsea continuing their pressure here in the second half and they have themselves a corner see where they can take this they've dominated the second half so far with possession and chances we just can't seem to get up the other end and get anything and now we've conceded a penalty just when you think we'll try and get back up the other end and try and get back in it it has touched Maitland Niles arm and we've given away a penalty just in the last game we give away and I think he's going to go right he does go right and Josh Griffiths has saved it as I was just saying in the last game we give away one in this game we give away one and we're going to have a foul here for a handball it's not it's a foul against us for handball come on we just saved a penalty and now you're giving away three kicks come on referee Let's see where Chelsea are going to take this free kick. He's gone for the shot and that's well wide. Not long left in the game here now, guys. And Chelsea are literally just hanging on to possession. I've tried chasing them. I'm trying to get interceptions in. And they are just keeping hold of the ball to see out this win here. They got themselves an early goal. We tried to get back in it. We just haven't had the chances or the ball to get back in it. Three minutes added on if I can try and pinch it and get it forward with two minutes left here but Chilwell bringing the ball forward I think he's just going to run it into the corner he has gone with the cross there Tyron Mings gets a block on it and they're going to get it out for a corner they've just done what, you th well, what you'd expect them to do really keep hold of the ball in the second half and settled for the win so with less than 30 seconds left in the game if that I don't think we're going to get anything out of this cup game which is really disappointing because this was our cup but is that the end of the game? Are they still going to bring it? No, they've got time to bring the corner. I wasn't sure if that was the end of the game, though. Just the flags were waving. I thought, is that it? Is that the end? They are going to get time to bring the corner in. Conor Gallagher tackles. Can we get it forward quickly? 
No, we can't. There is the full-time whistle. And we've lost the Carabao Cup final to Chelsea 1-0. I would say I'd give them time to celebrate, but we know they've won it, so I'll see you back at the menu. Here we are back at the menu then, guys, and really disappointed not to have at least tried to challenge for it, you know, took it to extra time or anything, but Chelsea got the early goal. We tried to get back into it. We just couldn't seem to get the ball in the back of the net mainly because Mendy was just like an absolute brick wall and we lose our cup or what we'd like to think is our cup because we won it last season but this season it's not our cup so let's have a wrap up of things in the Premier League and we will take it from there in the next episode at the top of the table and really starting to run away with it now is Liverpool 62 points we do have a game in hand against them but 62 points at the top of the table now we are in second on 54 points Chelsea on 52 points in third and then City on 52 points as well and then Wolves chasing on 47 points so that's your top of the table let's have a look who's at the bottom of the table bottom of the table Aston Villa 20 points Norwich on 19 points and Bournemouth on 15 points that's where we stand after 26 27 games in the Premier League guys I'm just really disappointed that we couldn't lift the Carabao Cup again. It would have been a nice cup to lift again for this season and kind of set that trend of the Carabao Cup. But never mind. In the next episode, we still have the UEFA, Euro, UEFA Europa Conference League to concentrate on and try and get through in that. So thank you very much for tuning in. As always, guys, please don't forget to drop a thumbs up on your way out. Thank you for continuing your support on the Hurryford United career. I will keep bringing it to you until we win that Premier League. That is going to be the aspiration for next season. So bear with me. We will get there. Thank you very much, guys. I'll see you in the next episode. It's been that on 1989. Love you, bye.